Hey, blow the trumpet. It's a new year. The Bible says in Numbers 29 verse 1, And in the seventh month on the first day of the month, you shall have a holy convocation. All these Christians who don't believe in getting together, I don't even understand. They must not read the Bible because the Bible calls for holy gatherings, convocations. You shall do no customary work, for it is the day of blowing of trumpets. You know, uh, trumpets are specific in the Bible. It's a call to action. It's a call to war. It's a call for everybody who belongs to, to, to show up, to show up. And this is the festival of trumpets, which the Bible marks as a new year. That's what it is. The Bible marks it as a new year. And so I want to tell you today, if you are saved, happy new year. If you belong to the world, then you go till January and December to celebrate the new year. That's world stuff. But if you belong to God and you belong to Jesus, happy new year. Listen, there's three words God gave me. I'm going to give them to you quick. We weren't able to be in the house of the Lord today because we've been sick and we're getting over it, right? It seemed like it was time that I, no, no, but, but we've been sick and uh, but we're getting better. Three words, circles, cycles, spirals. Circles are unilateral, one dimensional. And one thing God told me to tell you is you have to learn how to trek with God. Trek, T-R-E-K. That means you have to know how to journey with God. Deuteronomy chapter two, verse three says, you have circled this mountain long enough, turn northward. God wants to give you a new circle. I'm not telling you to leave your wife. I'm not telling you to leave the river. A lot of people, I don't know why they hear God wrong. You know why people hear God wrong? Because they were never in the right circle. The circle is the church of Jesus Christ. And so today God wants to give you a new journey. He wants to break old journeys, hurtful things, and he wants to start you on a new journey. Not that there won't be pain, but this time I'm going to trek with God. Number two, cycles. Cycle speaks to the flow of God, the pattern of God. Women go through cycles. The earth rotates in a cycle. Uh, Ben, cycles speak to patterns. You recognize cycles as seasons. Seasons have patterns, right? In certain seasons, uh, leaves fall. Uh, the temperature changes. And the secret to life, you've heard me say a million times, I'll say it again, never get stuck in a season. It's not always going to be winter. It's not always going to be spring. It's not always going to be fall or summer. But learn to go through it with Jesus. And learn the patterns, the seasons, the cycles of God, the way of God. Jesus said, I am the way. And so this new year reminds us, I'm going to follow Jesus and the ways of Jesus. Last word spirals as I begin to close. The Holy Spirit mentioned the word vicissitudes or vicissitudes. You've heard me say that. Vicissitudes by definition is a change or variation occurring in the course of something. Sounds real fancy. I like to say it like this. Something that is gradual or something that is graduating. Spirals are built into you. Did you know if we get your blood, we could see your DNA and your DNA is built in a double spiral? When you go through a cycle, you can spiral up and become better or you can spiral down and become bitter. I want to tell you today, Happy New Year. Determined to trek with God in a circle. Stay in the seasons of God. Determined to stay in the cycle of God and discernment, determined to go higher in the spiral, in the transition, in the elevation of God. And so I want to wish you a happy new year. And the Bible commands to blow the trumpet. <laughs> happy new year. God bless you from the Palacios family and everyone here at the River Worship Center.